Hey guys, Joe here from Clean Getaway Car Detailing. Well today we're going to be doing something to our very own car that we thought we were never going to do. We're going to be trashing our Tesla. Check it out. So today we're going to be doing something I thought we'd never expect to be doing. We're going to give you a perfect example of how permutation film is resilient to so many malicious acts of violence, I like to call it. So we're gonna test our own car that has permutation film on it with a lot of different things, brushes, bricks, keys, to see how the permutation film handles all that and if it does withstand all that damage because permutation film is the ultimate sacrificial layer for your car. And there's a lot of claims about what it can and can't do and we don't like to get people too excited about what it will do for their car because at the end of the day, it is plastic and it can only handle so much. But we're gonna take the risk ourselves with our own Tesla that we've installed permutation film on. We've done everything to our Tesla. You can see in videos that we've made in the past, we've tinted it, we've wrapped it, we've panned the wheels, we've done permutation film, everything like that. You can check out on our YouTube channel. But today we're gonna be Pretty much putting a Tesla under the knife and testing it out. Hopefully we don't cause too much damage, um, but we're gonna test out this permutation film, see what it can handle, and then we're going to strip all that PPF off and put new permutation film on so we can see if it went through the film into the paintwork. But our car has done about 38,000 kilometers and um, it's about a one and a half years old. And so the permutation film has been on for a little while. Now it's actually in really, really good condition. There is one really bad chip here that we experienced when uh, driving um, about a 2000 kilometer trip where a massive rock hit it. And then it also broke apart and smashed the windscreen in uh, four different places. And so this hit right here has gone through the film into the paintwork. So we're gonna see what it looks like after we've installed the new PPF. But other than that, there's actually minimal damage on the film that we can see. It does help when you have a pearl white vehicle, um, but this has been a really, really good case to see how permutation film holds and handles whatever the you know environment throws at it and whatever cars in front of us throw at it. So let's check out what we're gonna be using on our car. So first of all, I wanted to start a little bit light uh, we have this scourer, you know, the, the typical kitchen scourer to clean the dishes. Uh, we have a flathead screwdriver, uh, the old faithful, so that's going to be interesting. Um, a really aggressive wire brush that I don't know why you would buy these uh, in the first place. I'm not a tradie. We have a, uh, a nail brush, a really aggressive like scrubbing brush, I should say. Have a set of, a set of keys. Uh, this will be good to see, you know, the old um, malicious person that likes the Kia car, uh, a pair of scissors, and um, uh, a quite a aggressive brick thing. Uh, <laughs> I think it's uh, something that you use for sanding walls. I'm clearly not a tradie. Um, we've got a like a Pelican case, like a hard plastic heavy case with camera gear in it, uh, and also like a five liter bottle of chemicals here, the Bowden Zone Naked Glass. So one by one, we're going to be uh, throwing these on the block, throwing them, but we're going to be moving these around on the bonnet and testing out what's going to happen. Look, I'll stop talking. Let's get straight into it. It's a scary, tormenting my own car. Sorry, mate. Oh, that hurts. Wow. I think I see smoke. <laughs> well, it's definitely uh, removed some uh, film. Cool. Uh, let's use this. All right. That's... Looks like some cars that come in for a detail. <laughs> now we know how they get the bad swirls. Bar out. Scissors. Oh, yeah, it's not even going through.
Jeez. All right, Tom. Here we go. Yeah, I am putting a fair bit of pressure on that. I don't know if that's meant to do anything, but. Joe. <laughs> Um, bristle brush. This is what you use when you got to get the bird poo off the car. That's a joke. Suitcase. Oh, goodness me. Why would you do this to your own woman car? I must look like an idiot. So just a heavy bottle. For people that like sitting their handbags on their cars or their coffees which we highly do not recommend. All right, this, I was not wanting to use this, but. This is just so aggressive. Can you hear that? Jeez. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Glad he had a reference. Um, wow, okay, that really felt weird doing that to my own car. Um, let's just check this out to see the damage that this has caused on the film. There's just a crazy amount of swirls and scratches. Um, I could not penetrate the film then. I was trying really hard with the keys. Um, did I even use a screwdriver? I didn't use a screwdriver. All right, we'll get this. Maybe I did use a screwdriver. I'm in, I'm in shock. So obviously you're not gonna do this to your car, right? Like you're not gonna set up in the yard and be like, hey, I'm gonna go trash my own bonnet just for fun. Um, but we wanted to do some kind of simulator to see how much the film will save your paintwork. Now, paint protection film is uh, self-healing, but if I get the heat gun, I don't know how much of this is gonna just disappear. Um, and I don't think much of it will because it is very, very aggressive. I was being very, very brutal. So. Let's check this film out and uh, see what the outcome is. And then we're gonna actually remove this film and see what it looks like underneath to see if there's any damage to the actual paintwork. So we can see how well this PPF has handled this malicious uh, work by myself. So what's the damage?
So because we've actually wrapped the edges of our PPF, it makes it harder to remove because it's not just one flat piece. It's all these edges have been wrapped to help hide the, the edge of the film so you can't see it. <laughs> now it's kind of being a pain in the butt. You can just see how durable this film is, despite ah, putting all my weight on it. It's so flexible. It can handle so much. So when something hits it, it's like a trampoline. It just cushions it and it deflects it. Um, and which what makes it so um, just like purposeful when you have it wrapped on your vehicle, because it, it just helps deflect all the rocks all the debris, everything like that, the bricks, the keys, uh, from actually inflicting damage on the paintwork. Mm -hmm. Didn't expect to uh, pull the skin off my knuckles. This film is meant to stick. That's just purely from my skin getting caught under the film. Holy moly. So the film definitely put up a fight, but what I can see is that there's hardly any glue residue left behind, which is awesome. Uh, this is the SunTech PPF Ultra film. So I'm just gonna clean this down, just get this little corner off first, wipe it down, and then we'll examine if there's any damage in the actual paintwork. Film is off. That's what it looks like. So I've removed the paintation film. There's a bit of glue adhesive left behind the areas that I didn't have enough heat or steam. So that left a bit of glue residue. So I had to really rub at it with the towel. And I think that actually has scratched the paintwork in some little small areas. It's really hard to see, but they'll machine polish out. So I've left them there um, just for full transparency. So check out this bonnet. So I am struggling to see anywhere that has scratches like from the keys or the bricks or even no dents, which is really good to see. Um, there is that small chip in the paintwork that was caused prior to uh, the, you know, the video we're doing right now. But man, looking over the, the paintwork and feeling it like there's just nothing. Like it is, it is awesome. Um, the paint protection film has just saved the day um, a few little scratches there from, I think, when I was really trying to rub uh, the adhesive off, off camera. Um, but yeah, let's get some close-up shots so you can see exactly what it looks like. All right, so I've removed all the glue adhesive from the paint protection film and the boys are going to come in now and start polishing this panel make sure it's all ready for a fresh new layer of paint rotation film back to being the way it should be
So there you have it. That is how resilient parapetration film can be for your vehicle. Now, I strongly do not advise you doing this to your own car um, as you will be disappointed to get the same result as us. But, you know, truth be told, I did call my local panel bidder to ask, hey, how much to repay my bonnet if things don't go well? Because I did that before we started this video just to make sure it's going to be worth it. And I think it totally is. Um, you can just see what the parametration film can handle, how it performs, what it can prevent for your vehicle, uh, which is so important. So if you want to know more about parametration film and how it works and how much it'll be to protect your vehicle, please contact us here at Clean Getaway Car Detailing so we can give you more info along with a quote. So thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.